Sherman Goldenberg here, uh, RV Business Magazine with Greg Four. Hey, sure. Dicor Corporation, Elkhart, Indiana. Uh, 120 employees. You 120 say, employees or? in uh, four divisions. Uh, supplier to the recreation right. uh, vehicle business in Marine. Recreational vehicle Marine and some contract work outside on uh, commercial buildings. All right. And uh, we're here uh, at the National RV Trade Show in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And, uh, uh, you know, I guess uh, business first. Uh, how, how's the market look uh, to you on the tail end of uh, 2012? You know, sure, we're very, we're pretty fortunate. The market has, uh, has balanced and leveled and shown some uh, unbelievable steadiness. Uh, I think more so than anybody expected in 2012, which leads us to 2013, which is going to be another solid year, and we're pretty excited about it. Um, both for the market in general and for DICOR? The market in general, uh, you know, the official forecast that they gave at the, at the meeting the other day was up 45 or 5 percent. I think it's going to be every bit of that. Uh, I would look for us to get over 300,000 units next year, so another 10,000 on top of what they forecasted. Uh, so th that's probably a 7 8% gain. I look for DICOR to be up 15 or 20% next year. Um, immediate past chairman, RVIA. Right. RVIA show. Right. Let's touch on it uh, quickly. Um, beyond the, the chatter, about where industry shows go and, right. and so forth. What do you see here at uh, Louisville 2012? The, the, the great thing, Sherm, is after all the chatter and all the open house stuff for the last few years, is that you walk, you walk through the halls and you walk through the, and you see exactly the same innovation and exactly the same push on new products and exactly the same push on new sign and new dealer. You see exactly the same push we've had for 50 years. That part hasn't changed, and I don't think it's going to. Um, so uh, let's talk about DICOR uh, more directly. Uh, four divisions, you say? We have four divisions, right. Uh, tell us about those. DICOR Corporation, which has long been the mother company, we've renamed DICOR Products, uh, which is basically a distributor of, uh, of a few different products that we specialize in, roofing being one of the largest. United Shade, which is a window covering is a supplier to the industry and also to the commercial business. Uh, Vixen Composites, which is a both a manufacturer and a distributor of composite materials to the RV and outside industries. And uh, Seal Design, which uh, distributes primarily uh, a, a range of sealants that we bring from other industries into the RV industry. So, if, you know, if you had to cherry pick from that, uh, a, a division or two, a unit or two, or a product, uh, as an example, as your initiatives here yeah. late year and at Louisville, what, what would that be? Well, two things. One, I would say our FRP at Vixen, uh, which is a, a, a rolled fiberglass product. Uh, there's not very many manufacturers in the world of that product. We've spent a year partnering uh, with a manufacturer to develop a product that we believe has far superior characteristics than what's available today. So we didn't want to just get in the business, we wanted to get in it the right way. And, it, and it's a perfect complement to our Vixen pan, composite panel that we produce. And it gives us the ability to reach about 60 or 70 percent of the market with sidewalls. And we're pretty excited about that. That would be one. Secondly is we've continued to expand our offerings into the aftermarket, uh, th both through DICOR and United Shade and some other uh, efforts as well. And those aftermarket efforts where we're reaching out to the consumer, which is the first time we've done that in our history, we're actually reaching out to the consumer, uh, have paid great dividends, not only for us, but for our distributor customers and frankly for the consumer. Um, a, a step in a consumer market, mm -hmm. uh, a bold step. Yes. Uh, and ambitious. Very ambitious. And it's going how so far? It's going wonderful. Uh, you know, when you talk to the consumer, the, the pull through and distribution of your product becomes much easier. When you don't talk to the consumer, you're pushing and, and it ends up just being a push and we don't know what's going to happen. The consumer is going to drive the business. It drives the RV products, it drives ours, and, and you have to remember that. Our product development all stems from what, what happens at the consumer level. Well, uh, you know, with that, uh, I, I, I essentially think we've said it all. 
uh, here at uh, Louisville uh, 2012, the 50th annual National RV Trade Show. <clears throat> I've been here for too many of them. <laughs> we appreciate your time. Sure, and, thank you. And, uh, okay. And, uh, you know, uh, here's, uh, here, here's uh, for the 50th uh, annual National RV Trade Show at the Dicor exhibit in Louisville, Kentucky.